Hey guys, welcome to today's video. It is raining and wet, but good news. We got all the hay off the field last night, all of it. The barn is a mess of hay, but it smells glorious, you guys. It smells so nice in here. Today's the day I was gonna ride Penny. I have like new plans, new places to go, fun things. I wanted to just go on like a, a trail and just enjoy her. And then it rained. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. My girl, she knows where to go. She knows her spot. Yes, I know. That's your spot. Hold on. There you go. That's a girl. All right. And then you. And then you go over here because they're mean to you. We got almost all the hay inside. The last little bit started to rain. We didn't get the last little bit in, but I'm happy to see Sam was able to tarp it up and put it under a tree. So there's that little tiny bit left. Looks like Sam fed the horses hay last night. Our fresh hay. Even though doing hay is like awful and you get scratched and scraped and it's not the most fun thing, it was amazing to us because we did it ourselves. Like, it was really our first real act as horse farmers. Like, getting our own hay was amazing. It is raining today, it's supposed to rain all day, and so we're gonna feed the horses inside, or at least I'm gonna feed the horses inside. I love having that as an option. I love being able to feed them inside if I want to. It makes me happy that they don't have to go outside in the rain unless they want to, and they will go outside. So when I feed them inside, I feed them in this arena, but they can go in and out to their, like, whenever they want. They can go out and eat, or they can stay in and eat, and it's their choice. I just love being able to give them the choice. One thing people don't always tell you about hay, <laughs> doing hay, is that like you're always so energetic and gung-ho when you start it and then uh, by the time you start bringing it in, you're like, oh my gosh, I just want to finish. Like that's how crazy it is. Anyway, that always translates to us to it not being stacked beautifully. So, so don't judge you guys. But I'm going to show you guys. This is it. <sighs> Sam it worked so hard for us to get all this hay. Then there's a little bit of stuff that broke. And then we also have all this hay over here. And at first it looked all beautiful and awesome, but then we ran out of room on our pallet pallets and so it turned out like this. But I'm happy with his work. I'm happy with what he did. It all feels nice and cool. It's actually so cold out today. It all feels good. I made him come down in the middle of the night. <laughs> Sam! Go check the hay <laughs> because I'm so paranoid. Like it was the same when our when the farmer like when we hired somebody to cut our hay the first time we did hay. I had made and we put it up in the hayloft. I made Sam also come down <laughs> in the middle of the night several times. But anyway, welcome to today's video. If I could wish one thing for all of you guys, it's to wake up, go out. Enjoy your day and find the many miracles that God has planned for you. I would also wish that you don't have to do hay because hay is hard work. I was really proud of my girls though. They just went up there, got it done. Like Gabby has a shower every time she comes home from riding. Like she does not sit on a horse, touch a horse without a shower after and she didn't. She came home and she waited to have her shower until after haying. So I'm so proud of her. And I also wanted to talk about our lesson yesterday. I feel like I just have not been able to convey actually how it went like you guys know we got a different trainer yesterday he was just randomly at our barn visiting and um i was able to like get him to give us a lesson because i know him and i know he and i like how he teaches so anyway um he agreed to give us a lesson and he was really strict like he told us like so many things you guys like he told us that he told us so many things that you guys have always said and stuff that I believe and know and that's the thing there's so many things that I believe and I know that I just can't get across in our videos because I just it's just so hard to like sit down and have a one-on-one -on -one chat with you guys like I like he told us that if we were his students we would all go back to basics and none of us would be jumping until for like a long time. And I love that about him and I respected that about him. And he told us like, your horses, except for Sophie's, your horses know how to jump. Like they all know how to jump, don't jump them. And I believe that too and I've known that for a really long time. And either I'm not getting across in the vlogs appropriately because of how we post or people are just seeing what they want to see but so gabby doesn't hardly ever jump chino she jumps him like once a week almost almost only once a week sometimes twice a week but usually just once a week and she's just been doing a lot of flat 
And then when she does jump, typically, unless she's just before a show, she only jumps a little. And he also told us, he told us, your horse only knows what you tell it. It only knows what you tell it. So go out there and tell it good things. Don't tell it I'm afraid. Don't tell it I'm scared. Don't tell it be afraid of this. Tell it I don't care about anything. Just get moving forward. Always push your horse forward. Like, he just, it was, it was so, like, do you guys know that feeling when you hear stuff in it and you feel it in your soul? You feel it in your soul. It's a sign that the universe is working in your favor. You're supposed to be hearing that message. When you get that feeling, when someone tells you something, you know that that message was specifically meant for you to get. And it was like that with this trainer. And I love Brandon, and Brandon tells us all the same things. It's just that sometimes with a, someone fresh and new and your kids are paying attention more because they haven't figured the guy out yet, it's just different when someone else teaches you. But I felt it in my soul, like I felt that lesson in my soul and Shay's grandma was there too and I know she felt it, like w the parents were just laughing hysterically, like it was so good. I don't know, it was just so profound and I wish for you guys to have those experiences in your life too. I feel like they're never close enough. I feel like we never get as many of them as we should. I wish all life was those soul affecting experiences and I wish that for you guys and I wish you to have the, the ability to recognize those kind of conversations and experiences when they happen but anyway enough of chatting let's get on with the vlog my back is killing my arms are killing everything is killing but i'm gonna feed our horses the same yummy day by day fresh hay you guys ready willow is you ready willow yeah you like it pen She's like, yeah, this just takes just like the grass, but with no bugs and no sun, and no heat and no rain. <laughs> this little guy always meets me at the door and I love him. It is rainy and yucky for the chickens, but they're making it. They're making it, you guys. They're living it up. They're just doing their own thing, except for this girl. Do you guys remember like a few months ago, she was like, I want to be a mama. And then I let her, and now she's like, I want to be a mama again. And we're not letting her. So you need to move the heck out of the way and stop hiding all the eggs. So this is where it gets tricky. I got her off. I have to try and keep her attention from the eggs. Oh, they're warm. Warm, Anna. Don't you touch me, little chicken. Oh my gosh. You guys, it's scary stealing eggs from a chicken. <laughs> Look at her. She's a little bit mad. That's not very good, little girl. You're not making babies. Hello, little Frizzo. Look at, look at his, his, I don't know. They're supposed to have blue ears, I thought. Super cute, though. Guys. Chubby. Chubby little Frizzo. I'm going to hatch this. Sophie thinks, so, Sophie thinks she's a chicken now and she wants to hatch no. it. I can wear a fanny pack and put like fuzz in it and keep it warm. <laughs> Silkies, she's actually a sizzle because she's a silky frizzle. And frizzle means like she's got the curly hair. I love silkies though. They're like really gentle friendly chickens. Scarlet! You're such a cute girl. <laughs> she's like, well you're not. Stepped into my life, such a magic feeling. We tore down my walls. I wish I could go back to right before you told me. Somebody may or may not have fallen in the chicken goop. I always get hurt. <laughs> I just finished that one. She just finished growing out a cut and now she has a new one. Let's see. It's right there and right yeah, there. That's dangerous. <laughs> Okay. Never going there again. Well, Sophie and I are always giving the chickens treats. All right, we'll wait for you. We're always giving the chickens treats. All right, let's wait in the trailer. I'm excited to sleep in the trailer again and have like a nice, I love, especially in a cool day, with the fireplace on. And the time is actually coming. Our grandkids are coming really soon. And we'll be sleeping outside the entire time. It's one of my favorite things. We won't be sleeping the entire time. One of my favorite things, guys. These ones were super heavy. These bales were super heavy. And I wasn't sure if they're like completely dry. So we put them over here just in case. 
but they seem good. Yeah, it's time for you guys to, you're, you guys are putting the horses out. It's actually so super hard for me to see the horses waste our good hay. The rain has stopped, so the horses are gonna go outside for lunch. Our summer routine is that I put the horses out in the morning because the girls like to sleep in, and then the girls put the horses out, including my horse, at lunchtime. Hi, or they bring them in, whatever. So, Sophie says that her, oh sorry, she has to do this, she has to walk over all the poles. Hey, let's make a design. In fact, you guys are in charge of it. Let's do a, oh my gosh. Let's do like a pinwheel and then land our horses over it. No, I just have to run over it though. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do that so we can make a, like a, do you know what I mean, Gabby? All right, that's awesome. I'm, I'm cleaning up the poo. This is the daily allotment of poo. So that. I only have one hand. <laughs> Poor Sophie, she got hurt in the chicken coop. This hand sucks this week. Yeah. And yeah. And years. Yeah, but you know what's weird? Is that <laughs> this dog is cleaning up the hay. <laughs> She's like, oh, she has a frizzy. Okay, so what's weird is that Sophie got hurt not even being around a horse. You could die at any time, any day, doing anything. It doesn't necessarily have to be around horses, right? I just know things will never be the same Like strangers again So Gabby's setting up a pinwheel. I don't know what it's called, like but it's going to be cool. Yeah, because you fell on your butt. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and I so. grabbed on the metal thing and I poked myself and dragged it. Yeah, that's yuck. Okay, yeah, so. Yeah, and it's like on this side, but like less. And on this side, you can see like little scrapes. Yeah. But it's like bloody. And... Yeah, barely. But anyways, okay, Sophie, what? Good thing there's no vampires around. So you go, <laughs> yeah, good thing. Yeah, I'm very weird. So if you <laughs> want to be my friend, you have to deal with the weird. <laughs> yeah, own it, sister. Yeah. And do you know what's weird is that I love weird people. Like I you know love weird? weird people. I am weird. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. You're witty, actually. But anyways. I don't know what that means. So you have like a good sense of humor and you like say you're you say funny interesting I say things. whatever comes to my mind. Yeah, that's a problem Trust me because I do that too and it gets you in trouble. Well, I think I do it less Well, wait, you're not an adult yet. Yeah, I was just about to say because I'm a kid All right, so what is the one thing so yesterday we got to have a lesson with a new instructor and What was the one big thing that you learned? I'm always playing with the hose. I know um, to get the correct lead on the one rain chance is not. So how do you get the correct lead? He can't be facing the outside. And he has to have a big enough drop. Yeah. <laughs> the heck? I like it. So they know about striding and I don't. Can I Penny don't. do those stridings? Well, it's trotting. I don't really know the stridings. All right, we'll get Gracie to go first and then we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll All right, Gabby, yesterday with the new trainer, what is something that you learned? Just push down yeah, push your horse forward because if not, he just goes too slow and looks bad. Just sitting in the van waiting for the girls and this big, huge truck just pulls right up. It pulls right up and we ordered something fun. I can't wait to see what it, if this is it. So I don't think I showed you guys, but on Kate's birthday, you know Kate from Barn Boots, we ordered her, um, so it was her birthday and we ordered her something. Gabby ordered her something special. Like this was something, I told you guys, this was something huge and amazing. And like, it's amazing. I'm, okay, I'm just gonna explain. I literally was thinking about this today. So it was her birthday, so we bought her some socks, two pairs of socks, three pairs of socks, I think, riding socks, and some candy, and, and put it in a bag. And then Gabby was like, you know what, I I know what Kate's into. Oh, is that mine? I think it, it is. coming July 6th, this is July oh, 5th. Yeah, well, I mean, maybe it's yours then. Let's look at, into it. So anyway, Kate reads this book series and is obsessed with it, and she wanted something. To Sam. She wanted something from this book series, and, uh, and Gabby was like, I don't even know what this is, but like. your keys. I'm gonna try and find it. I'm trying to find my keys. So, anyways, we she mess. So Gabby messaged Sam and said, like, Sam, Dad, we need to find this thing for Kate. And then we looked and looked and looked and we ordered it. And this might be it. And it's from a book that she reads. Two things. Yeah, you ordered her two. I ordered oh, her four. Five. <laughs> five, yeah. Oh, <laughs> they're weird. 
They're cool. They're supposed to be like like, skeleton masks. They look like hockey masks. They're um, air something masks. So anyway, you buy they're these. I like the paintball ones, but not the paintball. And are they all different or all the same? They're all the same, but then you paint them different. Oh, okay. They're, they're really cool, actually. So basically, they're from this book called The Four Horsemen. That's not the book. Oh, what's the book called? I forget. But yeah. They're from the book. They're from a book about four horsemen. About four horsemen? I don't know. I, I just started read the reading book. the book, The Four Horsemen, so I don't know if it's... You started it's, reading it? Yeah, and it's... um. Why would you read it? Because <laughs> it sounds interesting. It's just about, like, war and stuff. You wouldn't like it. I'm, I'm liking it so far. So anyways, comment below if you know the book that these masks are from. So basically, you can buy empty masks like this, and then you paint them yourself to make them look like these four horsemen. Or you can buy masks that are already painted, and we actually... No, you can't buy masks. Like that. Well, we did, though. Yeah, it wasn't exactly like the one, though. Yeah, so anyways, we did find one that was already painted, and so she got that one, too. So this is what she got her. And I, the reason I think it's a big deal is because it took a lot of effort to find this, to execute this, to get this. And I'm proud of that, Gabby. I'm I'm, yeah, I'm proud of Gabby for like putting Should in I all the effort. Should I tell her that they came already? Yeah, sure. Say so your birthday present finally came in. One, no, you, you came in a day you. early. Yeah, one part of your birthday present came in a day early. But anyway, I'm proud of Gabby for doing that.